Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Was Robin Brown lying about her nanny on sister wives? However, there are indications that Robin made the entire thing up. Sister Wife stars Cody Brown and Robin Brown claimed to have a nanny during the COVID-19 outbreak and blamed the nanny for exposing the family to the virus. Cody had started dating Robin and was married to his previous three wives when the show debuted in 2010. Robin brought her three children from her previous marriage to the Brown household during their marriage in season one, increasing Cody's total number of children to 18. Having less of Cody to give away, his older kids felt left out. Cody didn't try hard to hide the fact that he was happier with Robin than with his prior wife. When COVID-19 further shattered the family in 2020, the tensions reached a breaking point. Three of Cody's four wives had left him by the time Sister Wives season 18's conclusion aired, and he had paradoxically ended himself in a monogamous relationship. Robin stated that her nanny had given them COVID throughout the epidemic, however, there are indications that Robin made this whole story up. The Browns were placed under quarantine in four different homes when the COVID-19 epidemic struck, and Cody would alternate between them. The family found it difficult to be apart, so when Ariella Brown turned five, they made the decision to get back together and get tested. The birthday celebration was fantastic and a lot of fun was had by all at Sister Wives Season 16, Episode 10. But three days later, Robin told everyone that she had unintentionally given them the virus. Robin stated that her nanny had called to inform her that the test results were positive. Ever since, there has been a great deal of conjecture over the nanny possibly exposing the Browns to COVID-19. The epidemic provided Cody and Robin with an excellent excuse to maintain their social isolation, as it was evident that they did not want to spend time with the family. The event was the last straw for the family, and they were unable to bounce back. The COVID-19 epidemic caused the Brown family to split up and revealed the already present divisions inside the sister-wives group. Cody's elder children were already bitter against him by the time the epidemic struck, believing that he had favored Robin and her kids. The epidemic took advantage of these issues. Cody stopped seeing his elder children because he felt they weren't treating the illness seriously enough. The death of 25-year-old Garrison Brown devastated the Brown family on March 5. Cody had a kid named Garrison with Janelle Brown, his second wife. The National Guardsman had battled mental health issues before he was discovered dead in his flagstaff, Arizona, home from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. When Garrison passed away, suddenly and tragically, Cody and Garrison were not on speaking terms. For the Brown family, Ariella's birthday celebration marked the beginning of the end in many ways. Despite the fact that the nanny exposure did not result in any of the Browns contracting COVID, Cody and Robin were able to continue socially separating themselves from the rest of the family because of the experience. Christine Brown's perspective on plural marriage was altered when she realized that the family would never be together again. In 2021, after 26 years of marriage, Christine broke up with Cody. Garrison and Gabriel Brown, Janelle's older sons, defied Cody's COVID regulations, therefore Cody insisted that Janelle throw her adult sons out of the house. Janelle declined, choosing instead to prioritize her kids. This led to the dissolution of their spiritual union. Janelle formally called her quits on their 29-year multiple marriage in December 2022. Mary Brown, Cody's first wife, clung to him for longer than was appropriate, despite his declaration that he was no longer attracted to her. In January 2023, Mary and Cody parted ways after 32 years of marriage. As the Browns planned Cody and Robin's wedding in season one of Sister Wives, Robin and the other wives went shopping for bridal gowns. They bonded after a beautiful afternoon spent together. Robin wanted Mary, Christine, and Janelle to be a part of her big day since they were so impacted. But when Cody admitted that he had returned to the bridal shop with Robin and picked out her dress on his own, he spoiled their bonding moment. This summarized exactly how Robin has treated Cody's other spouses in the years since she joined their family. Although Robin is currently in a monogamous relationship with Cody, it may not be what she had anticipated. Robin may have believed she wanted Cody all to herself. 
Cody has always required a great deal of care and is a grumpy person. All of the responsibility is now on Robin, and given Cody's grief, she could miss the network of support that the other spouses provided. Despite their issues, she might have preferred it than spending time with Cody by herself. Cody has no intention of adding more sister wives to their family, no matter how much Robin may wish otherwise. Sister wives, Kyle Larson, is what Christine Brown needs. Connecting Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, is eager to meet Kyle Larson, a racer for NASCAR. She is going on an extremely interesting trip with David Woolley. The newlyweds know they're going to have a blast, but meeting Kyle Larson would be the vacation of a lifetime. There's no better way to catch Kyle's eye than by using her Instagram account. See what Christine Brown posted this week on her website by continuing to read. Christine Brown has always had a thing for famous people. Shamar Moore, who plays Shamar Moore on Criminal Minds, captured her heart during the final season of Sister Wives. However, it appears that Christine also has a thing for professional driver Kyle Larson. The Sister Wives actress said on Instagram that she and her spouse David Woolley were organizing a getaway for Memorial Day weekend. They would want to meet Kyle Larson, but they know they will have a great day anyway. I can't wait to see David at the NASCAR Coca-Cola 600 in Charlotte over Memorial Day weekend. Everything. We must get to know Kyle Larson. Christine distributed to her Instagram audience. What do you know? Baby, we're headed to NASCAR. In the video, Christine explained while starting her NASCAR t-shirt. The Coca-Cola 600 in Charlotte has us giddy. She continued by saying that they are ready in advance and have everything they need, including coolers and headwear. Is it the only thing they lack? Straight to driver Kyle Larson. For David, meeting him would be a dream come true. That would be fantastic, I'm just saying, the Sister Wives actress continued. Many of Christine's supporters cheered her on and enthusiastically wished her luck in the comments. In an attempt to grab Kyle Larson's notice, many people tagged him in remarks. It appears like Kyle Larson hasn't noticed as of yet. However, a lot of Christine's supporters would be thrilled to see him get in touch with David and her. Followers mentioned. Why did I believe that I would be winning a vacation for the four of us to see NASCAR? I became quite happy face with tears of joy. Go to the Indianapolis 500 next year, it's like no other. You'll adore watching NASCAR live. Having attended numerous races personally. You're going to love it so much. My fave was Daytona. I completed the Richard A. Pleasant experience while driving. Do you believe that Christine Brown's desire regarding Kyle Larson will come true? How do you suppose he would react to the video that Christine posted? Post your own ideas and opinions in the comments section.